him and his friends approach my girls and myself. So we exchange numbers by the end of the night. I pick him up from some hotel. He gets in the car and he's like, yo, can I roll up? Roll up what? I met a guy on Black Planet and we'll call him Big T. And so he asked me to chat. We actually argued a lot. At this point, I had decided that I wasn't gonna talk to him ever again. So we end up driving to this Mexican restaurant as he the whole time proceeds to give me this whole spiel about how much he loves weed and how it's just the greatest thing in his life and marijuana is just the greatest plant ever grown. Our relationship had come to an abrupt halt because he proceeded to ask me for money. So before we had even met, he had been asking me to, he had asked me to borrow money one or two times. And I was thinking to myself, is this guy serious? We have dinner and he proceeds to tell me about his second ex-wife. You know, she screamed at me one night that she hated me. So I gave her a neck piece. And he's laughing like, ha, 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 ha. I asked him again, what is a neck piece? He was like, I put my hands around her neck. I choked her and I put her head into the refrigerator. What makes you think that this is okay to tell a woman this on a first date? I don't appreciate him asking me for money. This is ridiculous. Like you're really shady and guess what? I gotta get out of here. He met his first wife after his fifth stint in rehab for crack cocaine. And now she had him arrested two weeks earlier in the state of Kentucky for overdue child support. Hold on one second. He said, you ain't nice, you ain't a Christian, and you ain't shit. S-H-Y-T. Needless to say, that day ended.